It is now 613. You're looking live at the city of Altoona through our Shawl Skycam network. You can kind of see some fog there in the low line areas. We do have some fog showing up and we have waves of rainfall moving in along the western border. The northern half of the state will be seeing some rainfall from this this morning. We've got more storms on the way by the end of the day, some potentially severe and then 90s again, but it will feel close to 100. Southern Iowa and the metro will feel the warmest and this is where heat advisory will go into effect at noon and last until 8 p.m. Temperatures already close to 70 degrees, much cooler around Algona, lower 60s. The dew point is high, it's noticeable, and that will make it feel warmer. I do think throughout the afternoon, it will feel like the triple digits once again, so we want to make sure you're finding some air conditioning and cooling your body down. There's no pattern shift in sight. Even though we'll see some rainfall, it is not going to cool us down. We'll continue to stay hot and sticky right through the beginning of the weekend with some cooler air on Sunday. So you have a couple more days to get through. This is all the rain I'm seeing right now and some storms around Sioux City. Some of these did produce some strong to severe thunderstorms over Nebraska. Lots of thunder and lightning around Sioux City this morning. These are moving off to the east at a speed of a car close to 50 miles per hour, so fairly fast. And I do think those will continue to hit northern Iowa throughout the morning hours with this heat advisory throughout the afternoon. This is where we have enough instability for all modes of severe weather. The area in brown is where definitely we could see some stronger winds and some of the heaviest rainfall. Tomorrow the focus is in northeast Iowa and we'll continue to see this unsettled weather pattern right through Saturday with most of the storms over Minnesota on Saturday. Today at about three o'clock this afternoon I think things will calm back down before things get crazy. Once again, late in the day, about 8, 9, 10 p.m., we will see some strong thunderstorms push through. More heavy rainfall overnight along that northern border of the state. It does look fairly quiet around Des Moines for all the big football games on Friday. It's just going to be steamy with a few more storms firing up in northeast Iowa on Saturday. But Saturday looks sunny and hot once again. It's Sunday morning that that cold front moves through. Now, before that happens, we're talking a couple of inches of rainfall around Fort Dodge if the storm system holds on target with a half inch to an inch close to Des Moines. So the northern half of the state will benefit from all this rain on Sunday. The rain will be short lived and it will be cooler in the afternoon. I'd be making some outdoor plans for Sunday afternoon. Monday doesn't look as hot, but still unsettled next week with another shot at some thunderstorms early and late in the day on Tuesday, 73 degrees right now. Just a reminder, the sun officially comes up around 630. I always say this is the best part of the day. This is the coolest part of the day. 92 this afternoon. Again, some scattered storms hitting northwest Iowa early and again late in the day. Some more expected tonight, a low of 73. And tomorrow afternoon will still be hot with a high of 94. On Saturday, 94. On Sunday, 85. The best chance of rain is before 10 a.m. on Sunday. It doesn't look stormy, just some rainfall. On Monday, 85, and on Tuesday, those isolated storms early and late in the day. Wednesday looks warm once again with a high of 87. These numbers are still all above average for late August and early September. Today's weather rating is the same as yesterday with more heat, more humidity, and even some more storms. It gets a five.